Okay guys, so we are back again with another 10 kg haul. And actually bro, it's like 8 to 9 kgs. I don't remember. But I just said 10 kgs because you know 10 kgs it looks better on the title. Actually, you know what I mean. Gonna do the clickbait for the brand. Quick disclaimer. I do not condone the buying or selling of replica goods. This video is strictly and only for educational and entertainment purposes only. Have fun. Woo! Okay, so first of all, I gotta unbox this whole, whole, whole items. We got like 23 items, if I remember right. Some good pieces, jewelry, shoes, clothing, accessories, everything. So be hyped about that. Just just lay back in your chair, get something to drink, and then enjoy the video. Here we go again. Let's create a mess. I think the mission is completed. Mess created. Oh, so here we got all the items laid out as you can see we got a lot of good stuff today we got the poland retro jay-z because you know i'm from poland so i have to get something then we got some long sleeves you know some for a wedding some shit we got some purses some shoulder bags shoes socks jewelry and here to keep my phone safe we got some cases oh my days what are those hi i'm mike tyson watch me be peter mcnilly on comcast cable vision and yes these are boxing gloves from f Hannah buy and I'm not gonna lie the quality is ass but I mean I'm here to test it out so I bought it we got some pretty pretty heavy shh zip hoodies we got some tees some more tees some tank tops and this is pretty much the whole hole and it looks pretty pretty awesome so i think we should start with the shoe okay so i, I think the position should be good and our first pair of first item in the hole is basically this mx uh, 95 in the pink beam colorway i think it's called so i, I bought in one of my last holes the the gara green ones but i think the hype from the pink beam ones is much much bigger and uh, also many people in the discord on instagram and in my comments asked me to do a review on the pink ones and basically this is why i got them you know uh, to be honest i'm not a big fan of amex 95s but uh, i'm just doing it for the video you know i'm here to to review this shit so over here man but they stink i'm not gonna lie they do stink a lot let's get into the details and to be honest i didn't knew that they were like this navy colorway on the bottom they do have a lot of flaws as for an example the laces are off the logo the colors they are just off you know but they they are pretty pretty budget so i mean for the price i would i would say you can cop them but as a beta pair to be honest i think you will get called out for these so here we have the logo on the toe box which is not that bad to be honest i think it just misplaced so we have the bubble right here as you can see and it's pink as it should be but i think the color is just slightly off i'm not sure though the bottom looks pretty good not gonna lie we have have the Cortez logo right here so let me turn the shoe here we have the Cortez logo it looks pretty good in the pink ish font we got the pink Nike swoosh on the back right here and I think it's a little bit misplaced as well we got some glue stains all over here as you can see the job isn't so good done but I mean for that price it's all right here we have the toe box kind of squeezed the, sh the shape the shape looks a little bit off not gonna lie I don't know but the bag for me it's just like off you know it looks looks like misplaced and shit so tell me your opinion about these shoes in the comments but for me the bag looks really really terrible but this is the lace lock right here i don't i don't think it's that necessary to be honest what's necessary is the tongue and the tongue stitching looks honestly pretty pretty good i'm not gonna lie so yes these were the amex 95s in a collaboration with cortez and the pink beam colorway and honestly for me these are like a 4 out of 10 considering the price but i mean the quantity you know three three to four out of ten is, is a pretty good rating for these next item we got these cortez socks here are the socks unboxed and the packaging looks actually pretty pretty good not gonna lie also the bag font and everything looks all right it's 70 percent cotton and 28 nylon and two percent polyester only honestly the quality fits really really good and i do got them in a 44 again i think 44 to 46 which is true to size again but as i said the quality is like you know nike socks the nike basic socks not the red ones but like the basic ones and these are like that so pretty pretty good 
Kong. The next item is this Prada shoulder bag. And this was also like 40 bucks, pretty, pretty budget. But I mean, for that price, we got all the details. The box feels really, really good. And the printing on the box is amazing. Here you have a little close up of the logo. And we do also got this little tag, but I don't know what is that. And nothing else on the box. So if we open that, we get the bag right here, the recipe and everything else. So just look at that we got a recipe a wrap recipe and like this uh, weird recipe again i don't know what this is about but it's also a recipe you know i can't figure out what this really is it's just so galeria dfs not to be open expect the bonded area so brother thing i don't know what it is bro i mean for real these days wrap items got so so much better and you can get scammed so easily there are even software that print you real recipes from all the companies so be please please be careful what you buy so be careful what you buy on all these sites as ebay or facebook marketplace they they are so many scammers so please be aware guys this is our beauty this is our bag nylon prada bag honestly it feels amazing so let me get that out Whoop. so here we do have a close up from the logo of the shoulder bag logo looks honestly pretty pretty good i'm not gonna lie this is the shoulder strap i'm not gonna open it right now but as you can see we do have the prada embroidery on the strap which is a really really good detail most of the budget bags do not have details as this small detail we do have no details on this metal lock all we do so as you can see on the side of the of the metal lock we do have the prada embroidery right here and it is a little bit misplaced i think it doesn't look like it's in the middle here we got the zip things zip ties or whatever it's called i don't know and we do have no embroidery on it as well if i open the first bag we do have this um prada prada inside printing it feels really really amazing Dali boy oh damn we do have this little tag on the inside and also this hidden pocket i would say the bag is a 10 out of 10 but wait we have also the little coin press set left or oh, this little logo looks so funny and sweet bro look at that am i tripping or is this misplaced bro it looks hella misplaced i'm not gonna lie we do not have any branding on the zipping right here on the back it feels also pretty good the nylon is not cheap or anything it is it is steady and clean we still got this like Prada embroidery in the inside which is pretty good as i told you the quality is amazing and for me personally this bag was a 10 out of 10 i'm not gonna get much into detail with these cases because they are pretty budget and they are pretty good quality i already ordered four months ago some and they are pretty good i know so i ordered just for the backup to have some in case something happens and also someone's for a gift the cases they look pretty pretty good i'm not gonna lie the quality is amazing as i told you and they are pretty budget budget friendly as well bro i'm not gonna lie so these are a 10 out of 10 again for me the next item is getting pretty popular on my channel as well which is the goya card holder and today we got it in the baby blue colorway i don't know how about you but i love the colorway it looks pretty good and i have already talked so much about the the card holder and as i told you this is an easy 10 out of 10 bro it's budget friendly the quality is amazing i had the black one i used it for like six months now and it looks a little bit used you know but nothing is damaged it's amazing i love this card holder this is a 10 out of 10 easily the next item are these two i mean three chrome hearts 925 sterling silver bracelets and to be honest the seller said they, they were 925 silver but they are pretty budget each one was like 20 to 30 bucks which is pretty pretty cheap for these bracelets and especially for 925 silver but the one here came with nothing as you can see so i think we should start with this one and we got the bracelet today with the little i don't know what it's called but it looks good you know and the cuban is really really special we have the flower print all over the cuban we got it on the back as well as you can see and this cuban i'm just in love with it it's just so amazing i never saw it in my life the flower cuban is just really really special and looks amazing on your wrist trust me trust me this is this is amazing here we got also the chrome hard print on the back of the lock then we have 1996 god damn chrome hearts logo and 925 
35 silver. So this is the bracelet on my wrist as you can see. The one thing that I noticed is that the lock of the bracelet is pretty pretty ass. The quality is shit. But I mean it's a little bit too big as well. But I mean for the price it was it was good you know. We still got these two chrome hearts bracelet and with the packaging with the, with every detail. I mean just look at that it looks amazing. The print is really really good and the quality feels great. The packaging is really really luxurious bro i'm not gonna lie the packaging is premium it feels like leather the printing or like the, the the logo looks really really good we also got the logo in the inside which is a really really nice detail and the other one is the same as the first one so these are the bracelets here is the other one and the one is in the packaging oh we do have the packaging as well which is kind of nice so this is the packaging it looks really really good and the quality is premium and we don't have anything else on it and here we got all the bracelets laid together as you can see they have all different length which is pretty weird you couldn't select any length in the listing i'll just take the bracelets anyways you know the price is amazing the quality is good the only thing that i notice on all of the bracelets is the lock the lock is terrible i'm not gonna lie it's it's bad the one with the full cuban that i already reviewed and the one with the half cuban and we got this flower cuban as well with the half cuban so this is the back of the bracelets they do look all the same nothing special but as i said this was a 9 out of 10 for me the lock is a little bit terrible but i mean the price and everything else bro it's just amazing so here we got our last accessory which is a lv slim bracelet a lot of people wanted one lv bracelet i mean one lv slim bracelet and here i have found one the packaging is amazing and here we got the bracelet inside so the bracelet comes in this little premium packaging box we do not have anything on the else only the lv print on the front if we take it out we do have a dust bag inside of it with the bracelet and some little packaging it is not like this important right now this is the lv slim bracelet right here it's like a fantasy one with this pink embroidery all over i mean this looks still pretty good and will be also pretty good on the wrist the quality is like cheap leather you know here is the logo looks good beside that we do not have any prints or logos or branding on the bracelet we do not have any branding on the lock thing here as well which is a little bit sad but i mean it is how it is and so let me try the bracelet on so here we got this slim bracelet on my wrist and the thing is if you got a big wrist and this bracelet is not for you this bracelet only have small sizes on there which is a pretty big downside but i mean still the bracelet is all right the quality feels okay i would say the packaging makes it more amazing though for this bracelet considering the price i would give a nice 7 out of 10 so our next item are these boxing glove and i'm not gonna lie bro the quality is really really ass i got them in 14 ounces just for a little spa session with friends you know i just i already got like real boxing gloves but i wanted to get a second pair in case someone comes over to my home and then we can do a little boxing match you know a little spa session we do have this branding right here the twins branding and on the other glove as well we do have it on the on the on the on the clothes thing here and also here the other branding that we got is on the back and the 14 ounce branding as well we do not have any other branding inside of the boxing glove so i quick just put the boxing glove on and it feels really really cheap i'm not gonna lie so if you buy this be careful you can easily break your hand i thought they will be a little bit better but i mean for the price you know it's a 5 out of 10 for me so i was randomly scrolling through panda buy and then i saw this listing with the retro poland jersey and if you know i'm from poland and so i thought why not get it it was budget as well and here we got it it looks really really basic we only got like the polish eagle in the middle of the jersey and it's from adidas we do have the tag which is pretty pretty good and as i said this is a retro jersey and the label is also retro as hell i'm not gonna lie honestly the quality is not that good it feels really really thin and cheap but i mean i bought it for fun anyways and so we do not have anything on the back and for the price this was a 8 out of 10 bro we got the polish shit in the 
how so our next item is this ralph lauren button-up shirt and i just bought it in case there are like special occasions or a wedding because i think my cousin gonna have a wedding pretty pretty soon so i just bought it in case something like that happens you know this is pretty pretty basic we have the red horse on the black background this is the hanging tag just basic you know the packaging is amazing you know to hold it steady we got all these like locks so this is the shirt as you can see laid out the amazing thing is that we got like this branding on the bottoms which is a really really good detail so this is the horse as you can see so many sellers mess this part up but it's not messed up as you can see it looks really really clean so this is the inside tag love rolling size medium the stitching is amazing we do not have anything on the back and this was also true to size for me personally a easy 10 out of 10 this is like really really nice our next t-shirt is this gucci key in the collaboration with palace and for me it just have this like jersey feeling in the t-shirt which is pretty nice with all the green details right here and i mean it looks just so amazing we do have this cream colorway all over the t-shirt here we have the hanging tag nothing special just the gucci embroidery right here and this is the inside tag palace gucci made in italy so as you can see this is the bag we got the palace branding right here with the number 22 and on the bottom we do have gucci and for me this t-shirt is so amazing it looks just so special and unique it gives like this special jersey flavor but it's a t-shirt you know and for me this is also a 10 out of 10 and if you ask how this fits this fits true to size so our next item is this cortez tank top with the white details all over it and i'm a really big fan of this cortez tank tops the quality is so amazing of them i always use them in the gym or when i play football or whatever this is just a 10 out of 10 straight up for me so here we have the cortez embroidery it looks a little bit weird to be honest but the stitching is actually pretty pretty amazing i'm not gonna lie this is the inside tag the stitching looks great so here we have the size tag and small and we got this hanging tag included which looks pretty that bro disco disco and as i told you we do not have anything on the back a easy 10 out of 10 for me so our next item is this gallery department t-shirt in the gray colorway and right away this t-shirt fits true to size but it's a little bit oversized and here we have the printing it looks actually not that bad we do have a little bit like floss right here the hanging tag is pretty pretty bad i'm not gonna lie and the inside tag is a little bit shit as well and the stitching looks a little bit ass as well so this is the back of the t-shirt and as you can see it's just a basic print on the back and the print looks actually not that bad to be honest and all over the quality of the t-shirt is pretty pretty good considering how much i have paid for this honestly i would give this t-shirt a 7 out of 10 the t-shirt do have some small flaws you know so our next item is this chrome hearts long sleeve the chrome hearts long sleeve got a big big hype right now on tiktok and everywhere i just see it so i I'm just gonna hop on the trend and buy my cell phone, you know? I can tell y'all this... <laughs> <laughs> So I can tell you, this quality is actually pretty, pretty similar to the gallery department tee, which is good, you know, the quality is not that bad as I thought. Here we have the printing, and the printing on the logo right here is actually so good. Here we have a little close-up, as you can see, no flaws or anything that I can notice. Here on the crew neck, we have this chrome hearts embroidery branding as well, and the printing is really, really good on this t-shirt. This is the inside tag without any size tag, and we got this chrome hard printing on the sleeves and this detail is amazing it's also on one of my zip hoodies right here the chrome hearts sleeve printing is amazing this detail makes the piece so much better i'm not gonna lie and here we got the bag what i really really like on this long sleeve is that the print is not like in the middle or up it's just like down with the little tag right here and it makes so much more special to be honest and as i told you the printing is really really amazing on this t-shirt here we have again a little close up with the chrome hearts printing right here and the small chrome hearts printing on the bottom this t-shirt is easily i mean not t-shirt but i mean uh, long sleeve is easily a 10 out of 10 this is our last item in this haul yes sadly the haul is going to an end but i mean the last piece is one of the most higher pieces i ever bought the quality is so good like i said on much much stuff that the quality is good but on this zip hoodie the quality is as 
especially standing out this is like a really really high quality blank so this is amazing at the stitching the patches everything is just perfect on this zip hoodie the only thing that we got that is like branded is this trap star patch all over the middle of the zip hoodie and the stitching and the patches they look amazing just look at the close up i mean this is just crazy quality you know we do not have any branding on the zips but oh my days at least the ziplock quality is stunning is stunning oh my days wait let me let me hold it with my foot okay so as you can see i can go up down up down up down up down and we do not have any problems zipping this up i just mean just look at the quality bro it looks so good the fit the fit is also amazing it's not like this basic fit that every zip hoodie has and it looks just like a homeless person this have like this luxurious fit that you look you look like a quality high class man you know the quality is soft from the outside it's steady we got like this drop shoulder fit which is so good and the quality is really really stunning this is the inside tag with the size tag on the side as well the hood is not too small not too big which is perfect and we do have nothing on the back so yes as i told you this zip hoodie was an easy 11 out of 10 for me and sadly this is the end so as you can see i have created a big big mess i'm not gonna lie but this was my haul and i really love y'all for the support that i'm getting in the recent time you, you just make me a smile i can help so many people bro i it, it's just amazing to have such people you know and i hope you liked it and i hope if you got something to tell me write it down in the comments don't forget to like comment and subscribe i see you in the next haul video i love y'all <laughs>